Now I'm actually going to uh, do a little bit of grinding so I can get some par uh, uh, upgrade points. So I will see you in a little while. And welcome back, folks. I have now successfully got level 3 Hayakushiki. And uh, I tried to test run it, and uh, it didn't make much of a difference. <laughs> uh, because now it's not me dying necessarily, but my partner just getting absolutely destroyed. So Watch hopefully to Ready to go. I can take out enough Hyzax before the Psycho Gundam blows up my partners. This is probably one of the tougher missions to we'll actually to get the alternate route. Or at least for me it has been. Right, there's our Hyzak friend. You've come to push and our me Nemo. Around. You're the ones who stole all my memories. Alright. <clears throat> we don't want to fight four. We just want to leave her to her own devices and let the Nemo deal with her. I'd blow up my own partners if it didn't take out my bar, but it don't does. So. You're too slow! No way! Goodbye. All right, there goes that guy. Jared should be showing up sometime soon. I'm gonna fight you four. Get away from me. All right, there's another high Zach. There we go. Yeah, watch out, because uh, when 4 is walking around, she can actually damage you. So, watch out for that little effect. <laughs> Alright, here's Jared. Let's take on Jared. Nope. We want the Hyzax anyways. <laughs> Screw you. I'm so tired of dealing with your shit, Jared. Good move. Oh, who's that high sack cat? I know he's out here. There he is. I'll get you. Get back up. There we go. See that? That lunge attack. God damn, that one is annoying. Right, another high sack. And of course, Jared out of fucking nowhere. He will eventually piss off, but you have to damage him pretty good. Come on. Come on. Where's that hijack cat? Not doing too bad, surprisingly. Come on, damn it. Yes! Four is still alive. We did not lose, so that should open up the alternate timeline for us. Thankfully, we should only have to do this mission once in this fashion. I'm returning. There we go. Not too shabby. I ran a test and it did not go nearly as well. There we go. So, Quattro's Route 4 Survive Scenario Unlocked. What if scenario? Now, this should have unlocked, uh, because Camille will actually be, have this mission as well. It should unlock the What If 4 is a live scenario automatically for Camille, so I shouldn't have to go through all the bullshit like I just did. Hopefully. But, <laughs> you never know. Could be wrong. So, I'm going to leave the what-if scenario for now, and I'm going to continue the uh, canon scenario. So, Titans are denounced in Dakar. What's this one here? Uh, Opoly is killed. Join Operation Maelstrom. Or Maelstrom. And capture the Grips colony from the Axis forces. This one is a bit of a bitch. <clears throat> For the sole fact that you get to fight a lot of named multi -suits. All right, let's go. But I've never really used a two-star on it before. Most of the time I just wait to go back later on and do these things. But I'm not sure if there's a what-if scenario in this mission or not. Hmm. An investor always asks for the impossible. But I'm pretty sure if there is, it'll have to do with destroying one of these named mobile suits that'll show up. All right. Wrecking shit. Take that, next. It's all over if they fire at the Titan fleet. Where'd you go, Shiriko? Is that it? Do not let him escape. Whip his ass. Hey, 
Thank you, Nemo, for hitting me in the back. Use your beam weaponry to get him close. And then just wreck his shit. God damn. And Haman Karn, the leader of Axis, has just shown up in the uh, Kelby. Well, I don't know how it's pronounced. Ah, you stupid Nemo. Oh, Shirako's bugging out. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Yes! Destroy him. There goes Shirako. So if there is a name mobile suit, or uh, an alternate path in this, I think that should have unlocked it. Destroying one of the named mobile suits, because by the time you get them down to low health, they try and bug out. So we'll find out. It may not actually have been... Okay, so it wasn't an alternate timeline in this one, but it may have caused something else in maybe the, uh, the Axis or the Titans one. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see here. Intercept Tom and Karn as she moves to attack the Titans' remaining forces. I'm pretty sure this is the last mission for this. Uh, looks like it. So we'll go ahead and use our Hayaku Shiki. And uh, we'll use Recovery. Watch over Gina. Ready I, to go. I can't really stress enough using Recovery in some of the harder missions. It, it will save your ass. There's the Hum, hum Rabi team. Um, here see. they come. All right, you're basically just going to be fighting Haman and some Gaza Seas. So, just take your time, take out the Gaza Seas, because they're a bit of an annoyance, but it's Haman that you want to kill. The mission doesn't end until she's dead. And one good thing, just like uh, Shirako, her mobile suit is so fucking bulky that the hitbox is just outrageous and much. So you shouldn't have to worry about missing too much. What? Yeah. Or would you live? Go. Now, if you notice, she's taken a lot of damage, or taking a lot of hits from my weaponry, but still hasn't received the shit ton of damage yet. Don't be afraid to use your partner's as bait. You have as many partners as you want. Don't take me lightly. Watch out for the gods I see. They should go down from one hit, but they can become an annoyance, especially when you're busy walking on to stuff. Good move. Come on, come on. Not doing too hot this round. You're not getting away. You're mine. Come on, bitch. Let's go. You're finished. There we go. We got another Gaza suit to take care of. Next. Damn. Come on. Stop moving. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we You're go. Don't take me lightly. Is that all? Yeah, come on. It's all about that dodging and weaving. Another Gaza C. Wait for him to stop. Fire. No, you won't. Get closer to her. Now, luckily, you don't have to worry about recovery being taken by one of the NPC mobile suits because <coughs> they're not technically on your team. Take that. Come on, Haman. There you go. Ow, that hurt. Oh my gosh, I see. All right, there goes that. Wow, that barely nicked her foot. Doesn't matter if it's by an inch or a mile. We'll still whip her ass. Sometimes this thing fires in really weird directions. I think it's trying to, like, oh, you, oh, you can take it, can you? Never mind. I stand corrected, folks. Looks like your NPC partner can steal, still steal. Your uh, recall bar. Isn't that nice of this? Come on, Haman. Come on. There you go. Come on. Watch out for those funnels, too, that she has. They will absolutely rape your ass. Think of them as the same type of weaponry or function that the Zong's hand weapons were in Federation vs. Zeon. They can attack at long range, leaving her to do whatever she wants. I'll get you. You're mine. Take that. I won't let you. I won't let you. What are you doing? Thank you, partner, for hitting me in the back. 
take that. Go get it. There we go. We have a Gaza problem. No. Watch out for those things. They will fire at you. They're annoying too. They're more like the elements um, funnels. Don't take me She's almost dead. Come on. Oh, nearly had her. All right, come on. Let's go. One more good set of hits should do it. All right, there goes that. Come on, Haman. We're ending this right. Bingo. We're withdrawing. All Too mobile bad. suits. Ten Don't mobile fall suits. behind. Only lost one ally, too. Usually I'll go through quite a few of them before. Quattro has defeated Haman, and the Ayug has triumphed over the Titans. But Quattro has not returned to the Ayug. Raw? What meaning does this victory hold for him? The answer to this question might be found in battle. Blah blah, re-explore past events. Basically, go and look for the what-if scenarios. Alright, now, if you notice, Cat, uh, Quattro is missing. Whoa, major, major lag. Wow, that's bad. Let's see if it crashes. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh, maybe not. Ugh, this is bad. There we go, looks like it fixed itself. No, maybe not. Wow, I don't know why it's lagging this bad. Holy shit, this is so bad. Anyways, with Katro missing, that's the end of the AU technical missions, for, the, for at least for Katro's side. There may be a few that take place after it, but it'll be by other pilots. So, for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and end recording, and uh, we'll worry about other things uh, in the next episode. So, until then... Oh my god, the lag! <laughs> that, and I'm afraid this thing's going to crash on me, so... I'll, uh... Start recording some other time once this thing gets a little more stable.